Okay, here we go again. Alright, uh, I'm shooting some high def video of my gold find walkthrough. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, respond to some criticism of my earlier one. Yes, I know it was not in a uh, higher resolution, that's why I'm re re-recording it. And two, my knight is not set up for gold find. My knight is set up specifically to run events solo. So he may not go as fast as some other knights or some other people may do this. And three, um, this is the way I do it. There may be other better ways out there, but this is the way I do it. And I can usually get a run done in anywhere between five to six minutes, breaking all objects and defeating Sard and the Blood Fiend as this. And with a good group using this method, we can complete the maps in three minutes or less. So, that being said, all right, we're going to go ahead and do this. Uh, you do want to make sure you come over here and make sure you get your gold find uh, jewelry on. Um, currently, the blacksmith is actually, I believe, is yes. Until the end of the today, um, the blacksmith is actually running a special on jewelry plus gold find. When you get a gold find piece of jewelry, it will be 30%. Okay. Um, also, if you notice, I got a couple more rings in here. I've uh, managed to upgrade them a little bit. They are now nearly 20 and 20 plus percent gold find. Okay. What I am finding. And this is just, just perchance, mind you, what I am find, you know, and I haven't done any official uh, numbers on this yet, is that if you need gold, you want complete gold find. If you need items like turkey legs, honey wines, uh, mini po uh, mini experience pots, etc., you want to run with um, with the, with your item find. So, uh, anyhow, uh, with your gold find. Uh, equipped full gold fight jewelry um, that you can get from the forge and your guild rewards you can get a uh, hundred and sixty percent gold find which is actually a very significant amount so uh, we'll be running this in Admar's dungeon again like my uh, experience video pick the difficulty you can comfortably do this quickly in okay without very many deaths preferably none um, I can run this in champion okay this run will be slower than what I normally do because I'll be showing you what I do and talking about it, okay? Um, as you go through through here, I break all breakables. Some groups do not. If you want to, uh, the best thing to do is find out which kind of group you're doing here, okay? Come over here, take out the uh, flag bear, take out the barrels, pick up items that you may wish to get, and then come on around. Again, grab a uh, Grab these guys and come over here. Now, I've, I've, I'm starting to move a little bit forward and get those guys down to that little area uh, into this group here. Um, and again, as before, you want to let the Shroud Reanimator reanimate all of his enemies. Odds are you're not going to have everybody killed by the time he does it. Anyhow, and it just gives you more gold uh, and more chances for item drops as well. Okay, these guys are dead. Collect your gold. Collect your items. All right. Now I'm going to do this run a little bit different than I did my last uh, gold find run. As in, after each stop, I'm going to go back to the beginning of the stop and show you how you should do it with uh, uh, multiple players. Okay, come through here, grab the items. Um, if you guys, if you're running with a group that does not hit all the breakables, you still want to pop these guys here, the the prisoners. Um, the amount of gold you can get from them is significant. Okay. That is your first stop. So you run back to the beginning. Okay. Now, if you're running in groups of two or three, the first person to come out and is able to move should come down here and break these barrels. Um, everybody else about that time should be in, and if not, you still need to wait a little bit. But that everybody should be able to get the items from those barrels. Okay. One person comes down here and takes out the flag bearer here. Okay. Um, another person takes out the barrels. And the third person just starts running up here. Collect your quickly collect your items and run back this way. All right. The person that took out the flag bearer should come over here and start bringing everybody here. Once everybody is met here in the middle, start killing all the enemies. All right. At this time, a long range attacker should take out those barrels there. Another person should pop these two uh, these two prisoners. And the third one should take out these barrels here, preferably another long-range attacker. And then the person who took the barrels probably will have time to come over here. The first set of barrels should have time to come over here to take these guys here. 
collect your gold, and get ready for your next run. Okay, person that essentially person two, uh, person one, person two, long or a long range attacker takes out these barrels, collects their items, runs up here. Person three just runs up here. By this time, everybody should have met in the middle. Don't start killing until you can see all three people on the screen, and then start killing. That way, everybody gets the gold and experience. All right, next one. You run down here. All right. Back to soloing. You run down here, you come down these stairs, and immediately turn this way. And go around and uh, whack the spiders. Now you can um, possibly take out those barrels as you go through, which will make probably make the run a little bit quicker. Um, I find I just end up missing them because the attack that take them out quickly just doesn't catch up. Alright, I use Angelic Form here if you're a knight. Uh, it keeps if any of those exploding uh, sappers from knocking you right, so Kill the enemies. And keep going. Now you don't have to necessarily kill every enemy, but at least one or two will, you know, if you get those last little bit. If you're soloing, you may not want to kill every single enemy right away. You'll have a chance to kill them when they come up on you right, right away. Okay. While you're killing those guys, somebody can come there. And quite honestly, while you're killing those guys, um, if you're running multiplayer, uh, two or more people, one person can probably come down here and start uh, releasing all the prisoners. They're close enough that you should get it. Okay. Alrighty. Now, I'm not ready to show you the multiplayer part yet, okay? If you're, as, as me soloing, I come up here and take out these guys because I, I want the dragon statues as well, okay? Okay. Okay. Now, I took them all out. Normally, I just take out just enough so I can get the items and gold from the dragon statues because they'll follow me. But I took them all out specifically so I can show you the multi-person run. All right. Person one in a one or two person part in a two or three person party person one is your fastest person uh, and I mean by movement speed so they should come down here and start coming around and drag all these spiders now in a multiplayer party um, you should not take out these barrels just yet if you're single you can probably take them out with the spiders but if you're in a multiplayer party don't take out those barrels just yet more than likely, everybody will not be close enough for the drops to count. Um, in single player, you come around here, take out the barrels, take out these guys. And if you're player one uh, or the fastest player, this is the direction you're taking until you meet up with player two, who will be coming the opposite direction at you. At which point, you guys meet in the middle. You know, if you see him here, you guys just meet in the middle and then start killing. By that time, everybody should be nearby. Okay. Uh, in a two-person player party, in, in a two-party, okay, so essentially this is where you guys split up. So, first person goes down and around this direction. Second person comes this way, alrighty. Um, the second person will come up here uh, and t grab those enemies and bring them back to the middle. This is a third-person party. Okay, and the third person will actually come straight through here, grab these guys, and start coming down here until they meet the first person, which should be around here. Okay, then once all three of you meet in the middle, start killing. All right, in a two-person party, he does the same thing as in a three-person party up the bat. Comes up here, grabs these enemies. But the difference is, is instead of coming straight to the middle, comes this way and starts picking up enemies until you meet... Uh, player one. At this point, you guys should just kill down in this area because everybody should, all the enemies should be coming towards you there. All right. Now that that's out of the way. All right, back to soloing. Okay, as I come up through here, I'll take out the dungeon statue here, here, and here, and only killing enough enemies so I can pick up the gold and uh, items behind them. Let the rest follow me. Okay. Same thing through here. And as I go through here, I'll take out these dungeon statues. I uh, don't, don't have to, but I do. It just makes it quicker and easier in, a, in the solo run. Okay. Okay. Alright. Now 
Now you see that Shadow Reanimator right here? Just like last time, that's where he'll re resurrect his last opponent. Try not to kill him until he has done so. For the same reason as before, he'll resurrect enemies that give you experience and gold and item drops. So uh, you want him to go ahead and get resurrected. All right. At this point in a solo, I'll come back and pick up the items I didn't pick up from uh, killing those dragon structures and come back down this way. And then take out these barrels. Okay. All right. In a single person party, what you want is your ranged attacker to be taking out the barrels as you go through. You all stand pretty close together, but you take out the barrels and dragon statues as you go through. Okay, collect your items as you go, but don't worry too much about missing them because you just want to get everybody down here to take them. Your fastest attacker should come over here, get the suicide bombers uh, coming towards you. Now, I don't believe these suicide bombers are in every difficulty, but there are still enemies there. All right, everybody meets in the middle and kills indiscriminately, except for the Shroud Reanimator, who should be stepping here to resurrect those last enemies. Once he does so, everybody kills everything. All right, everybody gathers their gold. A long-range attacker comes down here and takes out the barrels that are here. Okay, the other two players can stand on the steps about where I am and collect all the items and gold from with that. After you've done so, you head up the stairs. All right, soloing. Okay, now remember, I break every barrel and do everything in a solo run for myself. Um, not everybody does this, and if you don't do it, it actually speeds up your time per run, but drops the amount of gold and items you get per run. It's, it's a trade-off, I think. So, coming back around here, I grab all, the, grab all the enemies, come up here, meet them in the middle. And if you're a knight and has angelic form, pop it, because there's enemies that will drop, knock it down here, again, get knocked down, it's just time waster. It's not necessarily going to kill you, it's just going to make you waste more time. Now, there's another Shroud Reanimator in this group of enemies. He stops just off to the left of this dragon statue. It's his final stop to resurrect enemies. Now, be very careful, because like the Shroud Reanimator in the last, last group, this one resurrects enemies in the middle of where you guys are going to bunch up. So you may want to head off to the edge a little bit to, so you don't accidentally kill him. Alright, grab your items, hit the statues, and come on through. Okay, now I'm going to go all the way to Sardin and the Blood Fiend this time, too. Um, before I come back here to show you how I do a multiplayer run through. So, I'm still working on solo. Alright, and as you see, I go down there through the barrels, come over here. Now, if you have Hurl, um, the night skill hurl, which hurls the shield. Um, you can actually do it a lot quicker because you can catch the barrels usually on the fly, actually. So, and I forgot to pop my uh, angelic form at the beginning here to avoid getting knocked back, which is what you want to do to avoid getting knocked back here. You can see how easily it is to do so. You come up here and kill Sarad in the blood. Beam. And as you can see how much knockdown hurts, because you notice there's a little bit of time there where I wasn't uh, killing enemies, that's because I was knocked down. Precious seconds, alright? Collect your items here. Remember, I'm still soloing. We're not into the group the group walkthrough just yet. And I come back and get the barrels, the dragon statues, etc. And these two are the last two guys I pick up. Alrighty. So now for the uh, multiplayer walkthrough. Okay. Your fastest, in a, in a two or three person party, your fastest guy 
should run off to the right. Come up here and head down this hallway. Down to the undead giant. They should hit the undead giant just for good measure and come back. Um, idea is, is once you hit the undead giant, every enemy in between him and there will follow you. You come up through here, come over here, and wait for the other three. Okay. Person two in a two place person party or the second fastest goes this way and collects all the enemies and meets again in the middle here the third person just comes straight up the middle okay once you once you guys see all three of you people on screen start killing it's to kill everybody indiscriminately okay once everybody is dead collect your items and go on to the next point now this is this is where a huge difference between people who break pots and people who don't break pots will break off if you're a pot breaking party you're a long-range person should come over here and break the dragon statue dragon statue dragon statue barrel okay the other two should come down here sticking close to these this they may or may not be able to see it if not it's not a big deal but take out these barrels here and then come this way now because you have already cleared out all the enemies out now one person takes out picks up those guys another one comes up here leapfrogs and takes these out another one takes out these barrels and then another one takes out these barrels <clears throat> come collect your items and start heading down the hallway again taking out the dragon statues there 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 here and here here now everybody goes to Sard and the Blood Fiend, who is by himself in a multi-person party. You, sh you should have no other enemies. You kill him, collect your items, immediately hit end level, and return to town. Do not do anything else in the level. Head to town immediately. The next step, the first person th that spawns in town needs to run over to Father Byron the Sage and click it and get ready to click Adamar's dungeon. They can go ahead and click it and then wait until you can see the health bar like this here under each of your friends that are coming in and then hit play champion because um, at that time your uh, your um, your guys will have been in town they'll accept and they'll immediately pop in here and you start it again a group a fast group can complete this anywhere between three to five minutes um, so with an item find pot, it's a significant amount of, amount of money. Uh, so I'm going to go back to town and do some selling so I can get some, uh, get some, um, get some coinage and free up some inventory space. All right. So just bear with me for real quick because I'm actually going to run through it at full speed next. I'm also going to throw a timer. on my phone. You guys aren't going to be able to see it on screen, but I will let you know what it is when I'm done. The time will be from when I spawn in the dungeon to when I spawn back in town. So. Stopwatch. Alright. So, I got myself stuff. So now I still need to get rid of some stuff, sorry. Another thing, if you've got an overabundance of these pots here, go ahead and use them. They will make the run go faster. Um, I save them for, for experience run, but there's no need to save any more than what you have for experience pots. So I'm going to go ahead and bring these in. And I'm only going to pop it before I start the, start the run. So I only need one of each. Actually, only one of those two. Alright, this will make the run go quicker. 
Alrighty. So now I'm all set up to go. I'm going to go ahead and start my timers on those. Alright. So now, we can go somewhere, Adamar's dungeon, play champion, play alone. Spawned. Okay, I started my timer. This is a full bodied run through. You can actually come over here and take out these uh, these barrels first. Start getting these items. I'm not going to worry too much about extra barrels. Okay, come over here, get these guys. Remember, I'm not taking out. I'm trying to not take out the uh, reanimator because I want him to spawn his extra enemies. Once they start, save a uh, yep. Okay. And I'm reminding you that I do collect and destroy every every item on the way through. That's my difference between a gold run and an experience run. Is I when I destroying all the all the barrels, um, I'm looking for items. If I'm just if I'm not, I'm looking for gold. All right, step one is done. Okay, come through here. Now I could probably actually, if I do this right, I can actually take these out as I go through. I'm gonna go ahead and try that just as a just to see. So yeah, it's not so it's gonna take too long. And the enemies are gonna be on top of me. So I'm just gonna keep coming this way. Come up here, grab enemies, and come back down here. Grab the items. Now I might as well just go ahead and destroy the barrels when I come up through here the first time because um, I don't see them. Uh, you've got to get close enough to burning a tree. You got to destroy them before. You okay, my time's just about two minutes thirty right now. Probably lost a few seconds uh, attempting to do something new. It's fine. I'm okay with that. Now this is what I talk about when I say leave the enemies alone. If they're not my way of collecting items or gold, I just leave them alone. They'll follow me. I'm not worried about that. Uh, skill missed the stat dragon statue. That's okay. Come down here. Now those are point places where I would love to actually have um, the skill curl. Because um, it'll actually give me that long range range to get items and stuff. Or not to get items, to uh, break pots before I get to them instead of me having to get up right next to them. I don't have any long range skills, which is a boon of a knight, which he has very little as it is. I do want to remind those who are watching that this is not an item find knight. I built him specifically to solo events. So. Uh, please bear that in mind. All right, we're at 350 to this point. Okay, uh, I'm probably not going to complete this in less than five. Uh, I normally can, uh, but I'm looking at a. I'm still looking at a sub six. Okay. Now the shot reanimator is reanimated. Last so I can go ahead and start killing him. And every time I've popped my Angelic Form, it's not because I'm worried about dying. I'm using it to keep myself from getting knocked down from various enemy skills. The, sh the Shroud Deathbringers are the worst of them. Okay, we're at 430. 
quite honestly, you can leapfrog these those dragon statues. And as he's starting to destroy the next dragon statue, you can, kind of, you can pick up any items that the previous one dropped. Okay, coming back down through here. Now this is where a lot of people may dif differ from me. I don't care, this works best for me. So I'm coming down through here, and collecting all that and going to start to drop it. I notice I popped my angelic form just before I went through those Shroud Deathbringers. Those Shroud Deathbringers will actually um, bring you back to them if you, know, if you don't do that. Um, it still will happen every time, so it still happens every now and then. Okay, at 5.30, I have defeated Sardin Bloodfiend and defeated every every enemy. 3 minutes, 5 seconds. 3 minutes, 30 seconds, sorry. Okay. Um, some people may differ with me and say just return back to town there. Um, I say you still got it. Well, I'm almost every enemy, but I say you've got still um, a significant amount of items and gold you can pick up just by heading back and finishing these last areas. Um, I don't go through these on the way through. If I had Hurl or a couple different skills, I might. Um, but the skill I have is not uh, not good for that. Return to town. Not my fastest run. I've actually timed this before and five minutes has been my fastest doing it that way. 6.20. 6 minutes and 20 seconds is how long it takes me to do that run, is how long it took me to do that run. Okay? I find it very helpful, okay? I start... I did not... Okay. Uh, sorry, uh, I was thinking something. Okay. I started that run with just over 916,116 gold. Okay? Um, now I'm going to sell... So my items actually is... Yeah, that's actually close, right? I'm gonna sell my items and see what we, what my final gold count was from the beginning of that gold run. Okay. I'm not counting any pots in this, but at the end of that gold run, I got nine, nine hundred thirty-seven thousand sixteen gold for a total of twenty thousand eight hundred and sixty gold in that gold run. So let's do some math. After six twenty, which is uh, six minutes point um, twenty. Yeah, fifth? No, it's a third. Six point three three. Minutes. So, getting out my trusty handy dandy calculator here. Actually, we'll do it this way so you guys can watch. Calculator. Okay. 20,860 divided by 6.33. I'm averaging 3,295 and a half gold per minute. Not bad. Not bad at all. That's the. That's not bad. So anyhow, so I'm gonna do some housekeeping here and uh, do a little bit of other things. But uh, if you guys like what you see, please subscribe to me at 4x11gd at YouTube, Twitch.tv, and tw at Twitter. Again, that's uh, uh, the username f o u r x11gd at YouTube, Twitch.tv, and Twitter.